Worship is more than just a daily, weekly, monthly event or ritual. It is a lifestyle. And God is calling us to a life of obedience. His worship is a life of obedience. John chapter 14, verse 15 and verse 21. Verse 15 says, If you love me, keep my commandments. And verse 21, He who has my commandments and keeps them, it is he who loves me. And he who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and manifest myself to him. In praise and worship, we declare and sing songs of adoration. We declare and sing to God. We tell God that we love him, that we worship him, that we adore him. So here, the Lord Jesus is saying, you know, if anyone says that he loves me, then let him keep my commandments. He says, he who has my commandments and keeps them, it is he who loves me. In other words, we can tell God that we love him, but if we do not follow it up with actions of obedience, obedience to his instructions, obedience to his commands, then actually we are defeating the purpose. We are not really saying in action that we love him. We're not really worshiping him with our actions. So God is actually calling us to a life of obedience, which is a lifestyle of worship. 1 Samuel 15 and verse 22. So Samuel said, Has the Lord a great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices, as in obeying the voice of the Lord? Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice, and to heed than the fat of rams. Now King Saul did not fully obey God. He partly obeyed him. And scripture here exhorts us that we need to fully obey the voice of the Lord. For obedience is better than sacrifice. So God is actually looking to us for a life of obedience. When we say we love him, when we worship him, when we say or sing songs of love and adoration to him, God is looking to us and the Lord is saying, if you love me, keep my commandments. For the one who has the commands, the one who keeps the commandments of God, it is he who loves God. And the Lord Jesus also says that the Father will love and they will come and manifest themselves, which means that we will experience the glory of God, we will experience the presence of God. And he will manifest himself. He will show himself, he will reveal himself to us as we live a life of obedience. So as we live this life as worshippers, I just want to invite us to live a life of obedience to whatever that is laid out in scripture and to grow in this life of obedience. Because when we do so, we will, he will manifest himself to us and we will experience the hand of God, the presence of God. And when he says he will manifest himself, he will manifest himself as who he is, what he has declared himself to be in scripture. So he will come and introduce himself to us, manifest himself to us as the deliverer, as the savior, as the healer, as the one who gives us the breakthrough, as the bondage breaker. He will manifest himself and we will experience that. So I just want to invite us to live that life of obedience. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that you've called us to a life of obedience. Your word says that when we say we love you, you've called us to obey your commandments. For in doing so, we can truly declare that we love you, Lord. Lord, as we worship you, even as we sing songs of praise, even as we sing songs saying that we love you, help us to remember, enable us to remember that we need to keep your commands that we need to obey your voice fully, for in doing so, you are delighted, God. For in doing so, Lord, we bring glory to your name. And truly, our talk measures up, Lord, to our walk. Father, we give you all praise, we give you all glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.